a few basic questions are, is there going to be a lot of violence and blood in this movie? Yes. Is there going to be sex and nudity? Absolutely. The Royal Baronial Theater. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the first movie that we're going to do, which is going to be a horror movie. Um, the last movie, Broken Arrows, that we did, um, was a very subtle movie. Very the it, the interpersonal relationships, the the interesting subtleties between the the characters was very low key and and played on a very subtle level. And the actual story arc and the and the goal and the objective was sort of hidden and not revealed until the very end. In this next movie, what we're going to do is we're going to bump up a lot of the aspects of the dramatic tension between the characters and, and sort of the horror setting, um, really play with the um, heightened emotions of like, you know, fear, of desire and greed, and with the interpersonal relationships and the and the drama that unfolds when being put into a very adrenaline filled situation and then having to deal with these with other people in that situation. Um, so the questions, you know, people ask about a horror movie, like, is there going to be a lot of uh, blood and, and gore and, and, ho and violence? Absolutely. Is there going to be sex and nudity? Oh, tremendous amounts. And um, hopefully those things will add add to the dramatic tension, or at least to the interest of the, of the film. Um, the couple things about the film is that it's going to be in one set, and the, the goal right now is to shoot it in one shot, so one continuous camera motion throughout the entire movie. There are really only two major movies, um, Russian Arc and then Rope, which were done with one one shot. And it's, a, it's a very difficult task, it's really hard to do, it's a lot of pre-production, choreography and rehearsals. And, and hopefully we'll, we'll make something very interesting out of it. Um, I have a lot of ideas and inspiration um, from some things that I've seen recently. I sort of sat with the script for about a year, um, sort of thinking, okay, we're going to do this in one set with, you know, a, a small number of characters, three characters, um, three like, tremendous actors that, we're, you know, that we're, we'd like to have for these roles. Um, and... And hopefully the, the character arcs will make it really interesting for people to follow and what's going on. And, and actually, we're going to be revealing a lot. The idea of having one set, you know, you we don't want the viewers to get be bored of being in this one scenario. So we're complete, going to continually, like very regularly, introduce new aspects to the dynamics between the people, to new things introduced into the, the story to sort of make people keep on wondering, oh, what's going to happen next, and sort of be surprised along the way to, to make it intriguing and engaging. Another thing is that, you know, w when you look at movies in general, um, with the landscapes and within like sort of the larger scale movies, um, you know, there's this aspect of seeing the world beyond the aspect of when you watch a movie that there's something beyond out there that you're sort of can... You'll, that will be revealed and you'll see more of that and more. And so the, the viewer visually and also intellectually is drawn to different things and seeing new things throughout that whole process. The way I sort of see this movie right now is that, you know, we're in a, a very confined space and it's all about the world of the details. So there are very, the details of the movie, the objects, the, the space, the, the, the aspects of the movie and the set are going to be we're going to go into a very, almost like a micro level of discovery throughout all these objects into the characters and the aspects of the characters and their dress of the objects that they have of the space. So we're continually going to be revealing new things. Um, and I think it's very, it's, I don't know if necessarily know if it's, you know, been done in, in a way like this. I'm sure many directors and writers have thought about it in these terms, but you know, that's sort of like the mindset. And so, you know, if you have ideas of like, you know, things you've seen that you like could use, help us get more ideas and inspiration, that'd be great. Um, right now, sort of the tone, like I sat on the script for about a year, sort of going over my mind, like trying to look at different things, like writing other things, just trying to figure out like how we were going to shoot the movie and what the vision of the movie was going to be. Um, and then recently I saw David Lynch's Inland Empire, and which is very reminiscent of the, the a lot of it is sort of the quality of like the Eraserheads um, era of, of filming that he did or Eraserhead per se. And I said, oh, then I, I finally had a vision of like the sort of the the horror aspect of, of the tone that, that we were going to shoot it with. So 
those are some of the ideas and hopefully uh, it will unfold in an interesting way and and you'll like it. So see you soon.